I'm Laurel Tui reporting for Coconuts from a massive swing dancing party in Bangkok. Did you know that Bangkok has a vibrant swing dance scene? It's true. Every week, twice a week, a bunch of vintage aficionados get together to practice old school moves they've learned in clubs and classes around the world. They might be expats, they might be Thais, they might be just passing through, but they speak one language on the dance floor. The Bangkok swing scene's been going for about five years and centers on a club in Silom neighborhood called The Ha. But tonight, we're at the group's annual fancy party at a boutique hotel in Chinatown. It's like a swing dancing prom. Let's check it out. It's a culture. It's not just a dance. I build a community based on the love for swing dancing. Yeah, so basically the music, the culture, and the dance itself, the history involved. I mean, there's so many things about it, and even the fashion, um, the people I do it with, the people I dance with and then meeting new people every week. Uh, I flew from Chiang Mai to come here. It's the fun, it's the energy, creativity, but I think it's really the connection. When you're dancing, you get to connect with people on a different level than you normally do. You maybe meet someone from a different culture, a different language, you can't even speak to each other, but you can, you can dance and you can connect and, and uh, express something, and it's really lovely, it's good. The music's great, the performance is great, the people are friendly, it's, it's beautiful, yeah. Yes, uh, I, this year is my 10th year uh, for swing dancing. I'm so happy, like it's getting bigger and everyone enjoys. What I like about our Bangkok swing is everyone smile and then we have really unique character. Like everyone express who they are. That's the best thing, so I love our scene. Swing dancing is actually what people do in the 1920s to 1940s. So basically what people wear is what they wear in that time. So it's um, 1920s to 1940s fashion, which is like what you saw in a movie like um, The Great Gatsby or in movie in World War II time, something like that. It's quite difficult to buy something like that in Bangkok because at that time people in Thailand didn't wear that thing. But you can find something that's similar to the pattern and just adapt to make it look like that, look like the style. You can wear heels, but actually in order to jump around and having fun and not hurt your feet, you can just wear sneakers, something comfortable for your shoes. It's weird, after a while you get really used to uh, touching people randomly and, and touching people you don't know, but yeah, in, in the best way. I feel like, oh, so good! That's why I danced for a long friendly place. Even if you don't know how to dance and you fall flat on the face, it's fine. <laughs> Coconuts TV.